Hi everyone, this is Shannon for Honey Bee Stamps. In this video, we are going to create this full panel shaker card using the adorable Be Mine stamp set and die. We're going to start today's card by creating our background. I have a panel here that's slightly smaller than an A2 panel. It is 4 and an eighth by 5 and 3 eighths. Basically, I took an A2 panel and trimmed off 1 eighth from one of the sides and 1 eighth from the top, and that created this smaller panel. I'm going to do some ink blending over stencil on this panel. I am using the Hexi Patterns Background Stencils is an awesome set of stencils. You get four. I'm using the stencil that has kind of the most hexagon openings. I just bumped my panel here a little bit, but I'm going to pry up my stencil, reposition it, and then just hold it a little bit better. If you happen to have some pixie spray, that would make sure that that stencil sticks perfectly down onto your um, uh, card stock so this wouldn't happen. I'm ink blending with mustard seed distress oxide and then I'm going to move on to ink blending with wild honey of course. I'm just ink blending little sections of this A2 panel or little sections of this panel not blending the whole thing with this wild honey. You can kind of see how it's a little bit spotty. This is going to have a really neat look. I'm now going to remove the painter's tape and remove my stencil and you can see this is a really fun and simple background. It's going to be perfect for our shaker card. This is the Be Mine stamp set and Be Mine matching die. This sweet set is a freebie if you make a $50 purchase or more through Honey Bee. The die is a freebie if you make a purchase of $100 or more. And this is only while supplies last, so if you like these sets, I encourage you to go make some purchases over at Honey Bee as soon as possible. <laughs> I've already stamped the bee and the sentiment earlier off camera in Memento Tuxedo Black and now I'm going to Copic color this bee in. This bee has a rather large head so I had to pick out a fair amount of yellows to really get a nice gradation here. The colors I'm using are on screen so you can follow along. I started with my lightest yellow which was Y00 and colored most of the B in with that and then I moved on to my medium shade which was Y06, my next medium shade which was Y15 and now I'm going to finish up with my darkest shade here which is YR23. This darker shade is really going to help the head kind of pop away from the body and really start to create that illusion around this more really kind of press that more so i'm just going to go around the head and around the body stripes and once i finish with that darkest shade i'm now going back through my shades so now i have y15 and i'm using this color to blend out that transition between the yr23 and the yr15 and i'm going to repeat this process for the remaining two markers really going back and forth and blending really trying to get a nice gradation here between these four marker shades but even if you don't have this be mine set maybe you miss out on the freebie this um, full panel shaker card really would work for lots of different um, stamp sets. I almost made this full panel shaker card with the Hope the Hedgehog set and had maybe the, the balls, like the basketball, you know, floating around in the background for like the shaker or even the pom-poms. There's just really lots of fun ideas you can do with the, a full panel shaker card. So I went ahead and finished up coloring, added some rosy cheeks, some blue to the wings, as well as some gel, white gel pen accents. And then I die cut the B and the sentiment out with the matching dies. But I also die cut out of just plain white cardstock a matching uh, die cut for the sentiment and the B and now I'm adhering them together. This is just going to add a little bit of dimension. That's the only reason why I'm doing this is just I like that this little bit of dimension that it will add. You could definitely use um, foam tape but in my opinion that would just been a little too much dimension. I just want a little bit more depth uh, for the front of my card. I'm now going to move on to creating the shaker contents for my shaker card. I'm going to use this set of heart dies. These heart dies are in the Be Mine die set, and I'm going to die cut them out of some red cardstock as well as some red glitter cardstock. Now, as you can see, this red glitter cardstock is white on the back, and if any of my hearts were to flip over in my shaker card, you would see white, and I didn't really want that to happen, so I decided to color the backside of this red glitter cardstock with a Copic marker. I used R29 to make it nice and red, and now I'm going to die cut my hearts out of the cardstock. 
since I am going to fill my shaker card up with these hearts, I do need to die cut a lot. This is my first set of six, but I'm going to die cut five sets and I pretty much use them all to fill my shaker card. So now that I've die cut my sets of the glitter cardstock, I'm now moving on to the red cardstock and I also die cut five sets of six out of the red cardstock as well. Now we're going to move on to creating kind of our pocket for our shaker card. I have a sheet of acetate here that is one inch larger on both sides than a A2 panel. So this is five and a fourth by six and a half. And I'm now going to score on this acetate at one half on all the sides. So all four sides I'm going to score at a half. So I just finished scoring on the long side here at a half. Now I'm going to do the short side and I'm going to repeat this process for all four sides. This is basically kind of creating a pocket sort of for all of our shaker contents to go within. And this acetate does have a piece of like parchment paper behind it and it's just I just left it on there so one you could see what I was doing a little bit better and also it also kind of protects it a little bit now I'm going to fold my um, actually my my court my half inch um, pieces over and just really kind of um, press down with my score tool to really kind of score down those or really fold down those sections I don't really worry about doubling up the acetate a little bit in some areas like well in the corners um, that little bit of extra thickness is not going to really affect your card at all I'm not going to pry open all of the flaps that I just <laughs> pressed down I probably should have done this earlier but I'm now going to add some score tape to along the edge of each one of these flaps this is what's going to attach this acetate to our background panel and also kind of basically seal up our pockets so none of the shaker contents fall out. So I'm now that I've added my score tape, I'm now going to grab my background panel, place it inside. Now again, that background panel is a little bit smaller than the center of this uh, acetate. The center of the acetate is an exact, is it's scored at exact A2 right in the center. And um, so you're just going to kind of get center your little background panel as best you can and then remove the backing on the score tape and just kind of fold those edges down. Now make sure you leave one side open. I left the top open here because you still have to fill your shaker card. So I'm now going to pop in some of my hearts that I die cut earlier. For my glittery hearts, I'm going to take a little bit more care and I'm not going to, I just don't want them to be um, upside down so I'm just going to make sure when I place them into my shaker card that they are right side up glitter side up and once I have all my hearts in there I can then remove the score tape on that last flap and then fold it over and seal all those shaker contents all those hearts inside and again this doesn't have to be those hearts you could really fill this shaker card with whatever you could use sequence of course um, there's just a lot of fun things you could fill this shaker card with I'm now going to add some score tape to the back side of my shaker panel I'm just adding it to the very edges of the shaker card and and also some of the flaps that are kind of lifting up a little bit I'll add a little score tape to those as well just so to hold everything down and you can see you turn it over all my shaker contents are staying inside and we are ready to kind of wrap this up I have an A2 top folding card base that I'm going to first stick my shaker panel on I'm going to remove the backing on the score tape and I'm going to add a couple more pieces of score tape right to the center kind of felt like maybe I should add some score tape to that as well and then I will just center it and place it right down on the front of this A2 card base once I've stuck that down I'm ready to kind of finish up with my B and my sentiment I'm just going to first place them down on the card front kind of get them in the right position then I will lift them up and use some Tombow Mono multi liquid adhesive here to stick this down you could definitely use uh, a tape runner if you prefer I probably actually should have used a tape runner but I do like the little bit of wiggle room that liquid um, glue gives me and I do kind of adjust my sentiment just a hair um, as well and that completes the card and I'll hold the card up to the camera so you can get a good look at this fun shaker card as you can see our glittery hearts and our 
red hearts are floating around nicely in the background of the shaker card. Lots of fun. I just love full panel shakers. I think they're so cool. I think the, any recipient would be so pleased and excited to receive such a fun card in the mail. And this B from the Be My stamp set couldn't be any cuter. I hope you guys enjoyed today's card and video. If you'd like any more information on the products I use, please head over to Honeybee. And thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.